It looks like they've completed their operation. Chairman doesn't even know what's going on. What? You can tell? I see it. Through Medea's eyes. Medea? She's their Fuka. My friend. Hidori? That's not important. Why didn't you call off the operation? Is your mission worth your life? Dying is what people fear the most, is it not? Well, I have never actually given anyone orders before. They wouldn't listen to me, even if I tried. You see, uh, I'm not really the one in charge. So, you were lying earlier? Why? I don't understand. I mean, I feel like they've been watching them enough that they should probably know that, but... I guess if you're far enough away, it'd be hard to tell, but... Hey, can you tell me one thing? Was it all just an act? Hmm? Huh? The way we met at the station, that cut on your hand, the drawings... Were you just setting me up? Now that I think about it, a real cut wouldn't have disappeared that fast. <laughs> I see how it is. That was... Junpei! They're back already? An evoker? She's a persona user? She sure is. Medea, come. Shidori, no! Uh. Damn! <laughs> Senpai! What a tackle. Sorry, but we can't let you use this. What's all the fuss of... When did she... I guess, restrain her. Understood. Uh, Medea! I... I didn't even sense her until now. This is the only thing I can do, and yet... Even we couldn't sense her. She must have the ability to conceal her presence. I certainly didn't have the slightest clue she was here. I have a number of questions for you. Are you a member of that group called Strega? Uh, I'm not afraid of dying. Shidori? Medea, I'm... It looks like she's too emotionally unstable for an interrogation. Let's check in on her later, after she's had some time to calm down. I'll go ahead and arrange a hospital room for her. She'll have to be placed under watch, but I'm sure she understands. Shidori. We succeeded in defeating the Shadow this month, too. There should be fewer victims for a while, but a new adversary has emerged. What will happen now? I'm exhausted. I should get some rest. I'll ask you one more time. Is Chidori your real name? <sighs> what kind of organization is Strega? Are there others besides you three? <sighs> I can't tell if she's like supposed to just look super tired all the time or if that's just like eyeshadow. <sighs> hey, wait, Junpei. You're not supposed to be here, remember? Chidori! Junpei! Sorry, he wouldn't stop asking about where she was. How are you feeling? Looks like you calmed down now. She certainly has. In fact, she won't say a word. Maybe we should confiscate her sketchbook, too. Come on, you don't have to go that far. Taking that away isn't gonna make her talk. I'm not so sure. She was quite upset when we took her evoker. Speaking of which, where did you get your hands on that? Medea. Give it back to me! I want her back! Hey, didn't I tell you not to bring that up? What else am I supposed to do? I'll have someone else try next time. 
Why did you take her from me? Tia. Takeba, call a nurse. We're done for today. I'll let Ikutsuki san know we're having difficulties. Oh, okay. Come on, Junpei. Let's go. Chidori. What happened to you? She's not handling it well. There's no school today. It's almost time for the home shopping show. It's amazing commodities! Hello everyone, welcome to the home shopping show Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. I'm your host Tanaka with a live presentation of my amazing commodities. We'll show you great products at unbeatable prices, so don't touch that dial because you won't want to miss these. I'm going to do it! Today we're introducing the luxury brand set. If you're always, if you've always dreamed of showing off your very own luxury goods, now's the good, chance. Good. First up, we have the brand purse. With this, you'll fit right in with the celebrities. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful, but wait, there's Not more. Bad, we'll throw kid. in this brand wallet too. Guess how many? One. All of this just for 9,800 yen. This is a special limited product available today only. You heard right, today only. Um, I probably won't actually need to use it. Well, we'll see, but probably not. But I'm gonna buy it. Thanks, kid. B All right. Now it is a Sunday. So that means we're probably gonna uh, do the thing here, so. Oh, we need to do Meteorama. Next time we do this, we'll do Meteorama. All right, so let's see what else is around town. Now that we know that we can do this, we can see that Hayase's here. Nozomi's there. And we've got Akinari here. We're gonna be doing Akinari. You. Oh, it's nothing. Why don't you have a seat? This bench is too big for me alone. Yeah. Then this bench shall be our meeting place. Like the others. Really? I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Nobody treats me like a normal person. Not even my friends or family. They all keep their distance and say, Oh, what a poor soul. All they feel is pity and curiosity towards me. Sorry to disappoint them, but... I'm not the poor soul they think I am. Dying isn't so bad, is it? What's the point of dragging out your time in this world anyhow? I've never thought about that, honestly. They say that necessity is the mother of our industrialized society. And yet, fire does not realize that it's burning away. Not exactly foolishness, but sad nonetheless. Thank you for coming today. You seem different from the rest. I'm not sure I know how to describe it exactly, but you don't look on me with pity the way everyone else does. Kamiki seems intrigued by me. I feel like our relationship is stronger. So it's also important to note, um, I don't remember if I have a Persona of the Sun Arcana, but uh, in Persona, f uh, Persona 3 Portable, um, you did not need affinity points in order to rank up Sun. No matter what, every time you hung out with Akinari, you were going to get a progression in the rank. So unless that's changed in this game, that's the assumption I'm going to run under. Um, just like Devil. Sun and Devil work similarly in that way. Rank 2. <coughs> Damn it. What did I do to deserve this body? I hope we can meet again. Hmm, that's so sad. I hope that we can meet again. In other words, like he, like week to week, he has no idea if he's going to be able to make it back to that damn bench. That's so sad. I parted ways with Kamiki, then headed back to the dorm. Oh, 
your back. Hey. Hello. I wasn't too surprised to learn that she's Strega's support member. Capturing her will provide us with quite an adv advantage. We're growing even closer to completing our mission. Hello there. Strega member Chidori has been sent to, Kurijo, to a Kurijo run hospital. Mitsuru san and Sonata san are currently on their way there to interrogate her. When neither senpai is present, we are not permitted to go to Tartarus. No. Remember how Lucia couldn't detect Strega when we encountered them last time? I think one of Medea's skills prevented me from sensing them. We only saw two of them, but that girl must have... must have been somewhere close. Hey, so... Junpei seems to be really serious about that girl. Um, as his teammates, I feel like maybe we should do something, but what? Maybe we can encourage him? I don't know. Yeah. Encourage him, huh? Honestly, I don't even know what I'd do. Okay, Koromaru. <sighs> Well, can't believe you got played like that. Where does game go? Come on, go easy on him. What? <laughs> I ain't actually pissed or anything. I'm just saying he shouldn't put up with that. Where is he, in his room or something? Maybe upstairs? There he is. <sighs> Sorry, but uh, I need some time to myself. All right, you got it, buddy. Pick up our sodas. Stuff finally! Art of Seduction, okay, we don't need that. Brain Training, there we go. That we will buy. PC software for living out the valorous feats of a Sengoku era general, probably for courage, we don't need that. A veggie farmer sim. For learning skills to increase the yield of your vegetable garden. Okay, that might be useful. Autumn Beef Ball. Restores 50 HP to all party members. Okay. Alright. All of our social links for the night are basically done, so I guess at this point we're going to mostly be working on stats, and then we can probably do more of the events with our party at the dorm. Let's see what's here. Okay, stat ups. That's not what we want, so maybe we'll do that PC software we just got. Alright. Sage brain training. With the right training, you can have the mind of a sage. Use these puzzles to train your brain. Looks like puzzles involving shapes, wordplay, and numbers. Your IQ level is Sage Next Door. I don't know how to feel about the results, but if nothing else, I feel a little smarter after training my brain. It's gotten late. I should head back to, the, to my room. Now, we haven't started Fuka's yet, have we? We started Yukari's social link, but I don't think we've started Fuka's yet. Morning. It doesn't seem like that Chidori girl is gonna talk, does it? Despite everything she did, Junpei is really worried about her. I just don't get why. I don't know either. Yeah. Maybe there's more to it than we know. Still, I'm a little worried.
All right, Meteorama. Let's duplicate that card. All right, good stuff. Okay, so we can start Fuka's today if we want to. Looks like Odagiri is ready to rank up too. Alright, she should be up here in the hallway. Um. Oh, Burnett Kuhn, are you busy? Also, if you happen to be a little hungry. Yeah, I have time. Oh good, in that case, would you do me a favor? I was hoping you could taste the lunch I made. To be honest, I don't have very much confidence in my cooking, but today I think it turned out okay. I've got a bad feeling about this, <laughs> but I have enough courage to try it. So will you taste it? All right. See you. Oh, thank you. Okay, please come with me. Sorry, I know you probably aren't very hungry at this hour, but um, be happy if you'd maybe give it a taste, if that's okay. The bento box looks like a chaotic mess of ingredients. It seems I have no choice but to eat it. I used vinegar as a base for relieving fatigue, <laughs> and then added a bunch of citrus. <laughs> you know, just some simple light flavors. <laughs> vinegar, light flavor, yeah, uh huh, sure. <laughs> it has a very impactful flavor. I want your honest opinion, okay? H how was it? Uh, um... Um, ellipses. I'm at a loss uh, for words. Um, I guess that means not good? Actually, you don't <laughs> look so well, leader. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What do I do? He's dying. Um, uh, I'll go get some water. Wait right here. He tried. He re he really tried to hold it together. I'm sorry I made you taste test my cooking. I just figured that I could count on you for an honest opinion. Well, uh, thank you for your time today. I'm going to keep at it. I, I should focus on making it edible first, though. That's a good start, I think. Yeah, I feel like I've gotten a little closer to Fuka. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the High Priestess Arcana. Card number two. Rank one in Priestess, Fuka Yamagishi. All right, so the Priestess card. The High Priestess is a card of mystery, stillness, and passivity. This card suggests that it is time to retreat and reflect upon the situation and trust your inner instincts to guide you through it. Things around you are not what they appear to be right now. I'll see you back at the dorm. I decided to go back to the dorm, too. Oh, welcome back. And Kirijo senpai and the others are at the hospital, and won't be back until later today. From what I hear, that girl Chidori won't say anything. Maybe we should hold off on going to Tartarus until things are under control. Uh, Mitsuru-san and Sonata-san are both still at the hospital. Their questioning of Chidori must not be going well. You still moping up here, dude? No, he's not even here. Okay, so he's not in his room. Okay, no new recordings.
Okay, charm. We don't need charm. So, should we go check out Wakatsu? Coming for you, Mitsuru. Just gotta become a genius first. It's still gonna take a while, guys. I'm pretty sure we still have a lot of points left. Honestly, I should see when my next test is. It looks like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but. She's still one of us, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself, that must mean her evoker was taken. Our first objective must be to retrieve it. I'm guessing it was probably not easy for them to retrieve the ones they have now, so... It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. In other words, she's only useful to them as a Persona user. Ooh, that's rough. Okay. For us... Our persona is as precious as our very lives. We should wait for an opportunity. They've found their own navigator, their own set of eyes. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. Yeah, you're right, Takaya. Sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it was nothing. If they got someone who can predict our moves, It'll be hard to catch him off guard. <sighs> yes, that's true. By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> this was truly a terrible piece of work. In exchange for drawing out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become exceedingly difficult to control. Is it implying that the one that's pulled out, though, is more powerful than normal? Especially for those who had their power forced upon them, like ourselves. Okay, a little a bit of lore. that has lost control, the user is but a shackle. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. Hmm. So, that's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. Damn, you okay. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... One who can wield multiple personas. Sounds like he's a little bit jealous of that power, huh? <sighs> Am I feeling... Attachment for someone. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Jesus. Maybe obsession is the right word? <laughs> Takaya? <sighs> Such a thought is beneath me. Yeah, I'm scared of him a little bit. I can hear people talking. Hey there! Have you tried that famous beef bowl at Umiyushi? It's only available for a limited time. Huh? I haven't, is it new? Is that the autumn yep. one I tried yesterday? Yeah, but only during fall. Absolutely it is. Everyone who's anyone has been raving about it. Lots of shops have been putting out new products lately, like at Manga Star. Wait, you really haven't heard about any of this. You've kind of been out of the loop, huh? 
Sounds like various shops have new products for sale. I should take a look sometime soon. What do you think, Yamagishi? Do you sense anything? No. <sighs> By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. So Chidori requires an evoker. She does not have the strength of will to summon it on her own. None of us do. So Takai is the only one in this game that we know of that can summon their persona without one. We aren't trying to keep you hostage. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Chidori? You're back again. Why are you so hung up on her, Junpei? Did she say anything? Not a word. Let me talk to her. Yori, you're getting really emotionally invested in this. Is everything all right? Well, I know she attacked me, but I don't know. I, I just can't get her out of my head. Please, let me do this. Times call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right, see if you can get through to her. Got it. You okay? <sighs> I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. Wow, you're still drawing pictures? Even in the hospital? You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. She spoke to him. Only I can understand my drawings. Wait, Chidori, your arm, it's bleeding. Duh, not again. Yamagishi, get the doctor. All right. What happened? Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. I thought I took all the sharp objects in here. Mm-hmm. She did this to herself? Apparently we can't leave her unattended for even a moment. But at the very least, she seems to heal at an astonishing rate. Let, let go of me! And that cut on your hand back at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for you to worry about me. You were the one who jumped to conclusions. Well, I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. I'm not just saying this because I'm worried about you. I don't want to see you hurting yourself. All right? The doctor will be here soon. You should head back. Right. So, you seem to have found your voice. <laughs> Not for you, though. So, yeah, in, um, you know, when I was in middle school and high school, um, I had, I had a friend who was also a cutter. Um, definitely not something that's healthy to do, but something that, um, a lot of teenagers turn to in order to feel like they have some semblance of, it, it's different for different people. For some people, they harm themselves for attention, and for some people they harm themselves because it gives them some semblance of self-control in a life when they feel like they have none. That was kind of the way that my friend was. Um, she did it for that reason, is that it was the one thing that she could control. It was kind of a way of rebelling. It, was, it wasn't healthy. We all, we all were worried about her, there was no doubt about it, but it's not a healthy thing to do, um, but it is something that does happen. And uh, yeah, it's it's not great. It's not great. I always felt a kind of a personal attachment to Jidori because I had a friend who was very much like her. <laughs> so, but yeah, if, if you also engage in self-harm like this, um, just know that there are resources out there that can help you. Um, and uh, you like, honestly, there's there's people out there who, who can and will help you and not be judgmental about it. So you just need to find those resources.
Okay. Let's do one more Meteorama. Kenji, Kazushi, Chihiro, and Bebe. Oh, do we have Koromaru over here again? I kind of... Alright, we're probably going to reload this. But I need to see what this does. Should I spend some time with Koromaru today? So is this like taking walks at night in the dorm? Is it similar to that? Koromaru is eagerly watching all the people pass by again today. Help. Um, earlier, cough, cough. What happened? We're in trouble. It's my friend. He accidentally stepped on a doggy's tail. And now he won't stop chasing him. I think the doggy's real mad. Where are they? There's a boy at the top of the jungle gym. Koromaru's trying to reason with the stray dog. <laughs> We're having a full-on conversation over here. Let's chase it away? Yeah, my dog's tougher than you, bro. Get out of here. Maru, thank you. you ever seen a dog with a knife in its mouth? Because that's Koro, baby. <laughs> What's wrong? It's okay. You can come down now. I, I can't get down. I, it's too high. I shouldn't have climbed up here. I helped the boy get down. The dog in the jungle gym were so scary. I thought I was gonna die. Thanks for helping me, mister. <laughs> that voice, man. It's all thanks to Koro. Yeah, thanks, Koromaru. And I brought them here. I knew where to find Koromaru all along. I heard from the priest. He said, Koromaru would be at the Shrine Gate, looking after all the people in town. So, even though he found a new spot, he's still protecting us? Sounds right to me. I knew it! Koromaru is this town's watchdog! I found out why Koromaru sits there in the sun. I understand him a little better now. Oh, by the way... Are you Koromaru's new owner? Yeah, we're friends. Is there really a difference? <laughs> well, as long as he's happy. Uh-oh, we better get home soon. Whoa, you're right! Okay, see you guys later! Okay, courage is increased. Oh, Some beautiful flowers are laid there. They look new. Are these here to honor the memory of the priest? Kuramaru and I went back to the dorm together. What a good boy.
Okay, box on the counter. Brand person wallet. Welcome back. So, um, you've probably already seen the message I sent, but I have a favor to ask you. It's about Amatakun. This is just a hunch, but I think he's been feeling kind of down lately. Could you check in on him when you have the time? He should be in his room. Okay. There are so many things we don't understand about Chidori. It's also bizarre that Lucia can't sense her. She's not mentally stable right now. I can't imagine what it's like to harm your own body. I want to do this, too. Okay, we'll do this first, but if we see... If we see Aragaki there at night, we might we might let him do his cooking thing. Fuga asked me to check on Amada. This could be a good opportunity to get to know him better. Yes. Oh, Senpai. Can I help you? How have you been? Uh, well, I'm okay. Why are you asking? You aren't worried about me, are you? If so, thank you, but I'm totally fine. You can always talk to me if you're feeling off or, you know, need anything. Like, you are a kid living in a dorm with a bunch of much older people. You're... It's a very strange situation, all right? <laughs> if you need to talk, I'm here. I'll do that. You're really caring, senpai. Thanks for going out of your way to check on me. I'll do my best not to worry you. Well then, good night. Uh... Go eat, kid. <laughs> I'm think of it. I haven't had dinner yet. Damn. I should probably eat something. All right. As mature as as like Ken is in this game, he still does not hold a can candle to Nanako. Nanako is more mature than all of us. Um, senpai, you wouldn't happen to be hungry, would you? Welcome. Take any open seat. He is not here. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Sorry for asking you to go out all of a sudden. I just wanted someone to come with me. It's a little intimidating going to get food by myself. People tend to stare when they see an elementary school kid like me out on his own. Your order? Two specials. Two specials coming right up. Seems like that's the thing to get, huh? Thanks for ordering. He would have been mad if I got him a so, kid's meal. I saw some people from our dorm stop by here a while back. Like Sonata-san and that guy who recently joined. Uh, Aragaki-san. Yeah, that do guy. Do you come here with them too? What kinds of things do you talk about? Oh, sorry for asking something so weird. I just thought I should know a bit more about everyone, since we'll be fighting together from now on. But it's good either way, because I've always wanted to have a proper chat with you. Everyone in the dorm is amazing, but you're on a completely different level. I can't believe how many personas you're able to use. Here you are. Ikutsuki-san and Mitsuru-san said that each person normally has only one persona, and that it doesn't change. That means what I saw back then was really... What do you want about, kid? Uh, hmm? It's nothing. Sorry. Shall we eat? You know, you talk out loud a lot and then act like you weren't saying shit. What are you talking about, kid? You talk to me. Oh, I finished all the soup, too. I'm stuffed. Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, the melancholy of Swallow, will air this winter as a TV special. Huh? Wow, a spinoff with Swallow as the main character. I gotta make sure I record that. Oh, he is a kid. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah, it is. This is big news. Swallow doesn't usually make much of an impression, but there's a theory that he's actually stronger than Hawk. No way. Uh, I uh, heard that from a friend. TV shows like that seem to be popular in my class. Yeah, but not to you, because you're so much more mature, right, kid? I only watch them, so I have something to talk about. <laughs> Naturally. Anyway. It's been a while since I've enjoyed a meal like this. <laughs> Just be a kid. I guess it's because I'm eating with you. <laughs> You're really easy to talk to. And the ramen was delicious. Maybe next time we can... 
Poor kid feels like he has to grow up so um, fast. It's nothing. It's getting late. We should start heading back. It was delicious. No, this food was not delicious. Don't let yourself think like that. You know what's that about? Hey, Amara. You on your way home? <laughs> Us too. We just finished eating dinner. Oh, are you from the same class, Amada kun Yes, it's nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, Amada, you gotta join next month's soccer tournament. We've all been waiting for you, you know? We can even practice together after school. I'll have to pass. I'm not even sure if I could make it next month. Aw, oh, come on, we can't win without you. You're better than all of us. You can't pressure someone like that. Can't you see you're bothering him? I'm sure amata has a lot going on. Isn't that right? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. You should hurry home too, amata -kun. Home. Come on, let's get going. Your grandma is waiting for us. Ken is having some kind of day. <sighs> Sorry about that. Roller coaster of emotions on this kid. Do you not like playing soccer? No, it's not that. I just have enough to do. The second semester has already started and we have to go to Tartarus at night. I know we'll be going through a lot from now on, so I decided to not make any promises. More importantly, sorry for keeping you out so late. Let's make our way back to the dorm. I parted with Amada and returned to my room. Hey, academics this time. Nice, Amada. Thanks. I actually need that. <laughs> Yo! Sorry I haven't been around lately, but I can't just leave her alone. Don't ask me why. You've got this. You go, bro. I got your back all the way. Thanks. Thanks, man. You need a wingman? I'll be your wingman. Get that girl in a place where she's happy enough that she doesn't feel the need to cut herself. Class is ended for today. Greetings. Junpei-san has already left school. He went to the hospital. Lately, he seems to be emotionally distressed. It must suck to be the new girl. All the guys hit on you and pressure you right away, but I guess son seems fine. <laughs> She's not bothered by too much, honestly. <laughs> okay, Bebe, Hidetoshi, Yukari, Keisuke, so many options. Honestly, I kind of want to do Yuko. Do we have strength right now? I don't think we do. We do. Chikokuten. We might do that. We have so many options these days, it's kind of wild. Okay, we'll duplicate the Agilau card. All right, and we probably do need to check a bunch of, is this Koro again? Dude, Koro's got all sorts of events. Hmm. All right, we need to check. All right, so we've checked the beef bowl shop. We've already checked the PC shop. The rest of these places are mostly restaurants. Can we buy this like once a day? This Welcome. autumn bowl? Ugh, staunch awful bowl. Thank you. I don't want it, but it's a useful item, so we'll take it. Um, okay, what other shops do we need to check? Yeah. <laughs> 
You got everything you need. Come again, yeah? It's that time of the year, huh? Do you have a girlfriend? I bet you could get one if you tried. You can do it. Just find someone you're interested in and talk to her. Even he managed to do it, so you should have no problem. Yeah, he's kind of a mess. Why am I like this? How many months has it been dating her? <laughs> why are you like this? Uh, I'm so lazy. Guess why? You have apathy syndrome. Aw, oh, come on. I'm not that bad. <laughs> Interviewers can't rely only on primary sources. Eyewitness reports are important, too. My favorite part of gathering information is all the unique people I get to meet. For example, the other day I talked to a young man who spoke in a Kansai dialect. That isn't something you hear every day around here. It's September and it's time for a new term. Did you get any transfer students? We did. I'm jealous. Your school life is just like a teen movie. You're a lucky kid. Go enjoy school while you can. It feels like someone's watching me. Is it just me? Oh my gosh. How things have changed. Now you are stalking her? Dude, what's going on? That girl who's been following me all this time. I was going to talk to her, but she stopped following me. I've been watching her to try to figure out why, but I don't know. Something seems off. Yeah, she lost interest, bro. Oh. See you. We did get a reward from her, right? After we did our test. I'm pretty sure we did, right? I think this game made it harder to miss that than it used to be. Hey, sup? Oh, Vernacular, are you busy today? I was thinking of coaching those kids some more. They were really looking forward to it. Let's do it. Thank you. Great, thanks. I did a bunch of research on my end for this, so let's give them a real workout. We only have so much time to train here, so you have to practice on your own if you want to win. Yeah, we can do that. Good. And don't forget, Know your limits, and make sure you stretch properly. Oh, why don't you give them some advice, too? You guys got this. Yeah, but don't forget to stay focused till the end. Now listen, no matter what, think positive, and don't give in to fear. The kids went home after finishing their training. Those kids are going to challenge the sixth grader soon. Apparently, the winners will get to use the schoolyard. Earlier, they asked me to write the challenge letter for them. A little worried, actually. Well, not just about the race, but also about whether or not I spelled something wrong. So, what's your honest opinion? Age difference really matters when you're as young as they are. Do you really think they can beat the sixth graders? <laughs> no, but... <laughs> As long as we believe in them. Yeah, you're right. A coach has to believe in her team. And they've all trained so hard, too. They'll be fine, right? After all, they learned from us. Damn right. Oh, then why am I feeling so nervous? It's gonna be okay. I'm sure they can win. I feel a bond forming with Yuko. It seems we've grown closer. Rank six in strength. Come to think of it, I should have asked you to write the challenge letter. I probably should have used bigger words. Ugh, I'll be so embarrassed if those sixth graders laugh at it. <laughs> sure, it'll be fine. Yuko and I walked home together. Oh, you're back. By the way, how long have we been holding that Chidori girl? About four days? 
I see. <sighs> Junpei, I'm not gonna mess with him today. I guess that's nice of you. <laughs> um, let's see. I think tomorrow we can... We can get the plants. Hey. I was just thinking about asking you. Is that Shidori girl still in the hospital? <sighs> hope he doesn't... Just hope he doesn't get in trouble. What, you talking about Junpei? Yeah, he must be at the hospital. Okay, when are our next tests? Probably not for a little while, right? Midterms. Okay. So we might get some... We might get some study sessions on these days here. Before we get our midterms. And then I'm guessing those are finals? Yeah. Okay, we've... So I don't want to necessarily max out completely before we get to midterms, because we'll get all those free points there, but... I still think that we can be pretty aggressive and still not max it out by then, so... Okay. Gonna go to the arcade, do the academics one. But pretty soon we should probably be able to start doing some of the other party activities with our... with, with people at the dorm. Attention, please. Let's take a look at some English idioms. When someone has a big mouth, it means they're a loudmouth or a boastful person. There's also the phrase, spill the beans. So that's why... What exactly does this idiom mean? Junpei, why don't you answer? Uh, me? Hey, do you know what it means to spill the beans? To reveal a secret. Yes! That's correct. There are many theories about why the word beans is used. One particularly famous theory says that beans were used to vote in ancient Greece. At that time, they'd put white beans for yes and black beans for no into a ballot box. And if you spill the beans before voting, it'd reveal their color. And your once secret vote. Oh, that reminds me. Last time, my darling. Thanks, man. Thanks. Vernacular Coon gave him the answer just now. He must be really smart. That's me. Cheetorita? All right, all right, Junpei. Don't call me that. <laughs> Come on, lighten up. Here, I brought you a new sketchbook. She's too emo for I that. Your old one might be getting full. I don't remember asking you to do that, Junpei. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. Hmm. <laughs> They're just sitting there. Guys, step out. You're the worst luck. friends ever. She finally started talking, but she hasn't said anything useful so far. Maybe give the well, two some space. Start. More of a response than we got from her. <laughs> so, why are you here? <coughs> Shidori, what's wrong? <coughs> Shit. What is that? There's something right there. An enemy? Wrong. Move. <sighs> Shinori! Relax. The persona just went berserk. It happens. It happens. Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants. 
to keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait, do you know something about Strega? Some things you only pick up stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. That's why I was asking Shinji, about how wait, many days she's dang. been in here. Uh, I do pay. He he knew that she needed that medicine. Thank God, I thought you were gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that. You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. It doesn't matter if you're not afraid. That's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. <laughs> You're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. It's kind of cute. They're kind of cute. Hey, wait! Shinji! <sighs> what the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? <sighs> I've heard about what they do. They're taken to rein in a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... <sighs> You're not taking them, are you? <sighs> Answer me! We don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power. You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. Ooh! <sighs> Shit. You don't understand at all. You should already know. Ten years ago, when the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back Ooh! Then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. That's why I try so hard. I thought you felt the same way. We promised each other to become strong enough to do what we think is right. So Miki died so in the why? fire. Now, here's what I don't know. Because it's an orphanage, I don't know if that's actually his sister and that they were both orphaned together. Or if it's just his sister because they were all siblings at the orphanage. Like, does he consider Shinji his brother? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? Not that it matters that much, but I am interested to know if they were now. blood siblings I have no or not. Reason to suppress my persona anymore, so just let it go. So he was actively trying to suppress his persona. Damn it! <laughs> With that medication and the side effects. Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. Quit worrying about me. Just do what you think is right. Got that? And they just leave the side effects thing hanging for you. Shinji. Hmm. Class has ended for today. And this episode is gonna end as well. So thank you all for being here. A lot has happened. Um... Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado 101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba 90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot 27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.